Hey guys, Scheming Off The Grid here. It has arrived. Astral Chain is finally here. In today's episode, we are gonna let you know our first impressions of this long-awaited Nintendo Switch exclusive. What are we drinking today? today? We're drinking Taurus the Tyrant by Hopping Frog. It's a triple oatmeal Russian Imperial Stout. All right, we don't know which one of these we're more excited about. So you know the drill. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you never miss an upload. And sit back, relax, pour yourself a beer if you care to, and let's talk about our first impressions of Astral Chain. Sit back, relax, pour yourself a beer if you care to, and enjoy this episode of Gaming Off The Grid. All right, here we go with our first impressions of Astral Chain. We've been hot on the trail yes. of this game since it was announced. It's very unique, especially for a Nintendo exclusive, and this game's only on the Switch. Which is so crazy because based on what we've seen so far, this game is a powerhouse. Like, it visually looks incredible. Yeah. The way it plays, like, stuff is happening, and it's like, dude, the Switch can handle this? Like, yeah. This feels like a PS4 or like an Xbox One game because of how powerful it seems, I would, and it's badass. I would definitely say it's a system pusher from, from the parts that we have played thus far. So we're about, I don't know, three and a half hours or yeah. so into the game, having a great time with it. And there is a little bit of slowdown we noticed at some points. So there may be some, you know, graphics people out there that are going to maybe hate on that a little bit. But we've never really been too caught up in graphics. Yeah. They're like the icing on the cake. And if the cake's not good, the icing doesn't matter. And the cake here, the game, the core of the oh game. The one thing we were talking about when we were doing this is we can't think of a game that this entirely reminds us of. No, like I have no idea. I've never played a game that's even close to what this mm -hmm. is. I kind of get like some small Bayonetta vibes, yep. but not really. Like that's just like the closest I could think yeah. of, but not really. And maybe a little bit of the early God of War games. There is a hack and slash component to this for sure. Obviously with the battle mechanics, the unique aspect of you controlling the second character of your person, which is a legion. That's what these things are called. And you can basically, it's like this, this animalistic creature that you have tied to your astral chain and you send them loose and you're controlling two beings at one time it's, and I can't recall a game where I've ever had to do that. I've played a lot of freaking and games. And the controls, they are very weird and very unique but like once you get them down, it's like, okay, this makes sense now. And like the the being that the Legion, it, it's kind of like an AI yeah. where it's kind of like a robot but you can control it but then it also can control you sometimes yeah. and you're connected by a chain astral chain yep. yeah you get it but it's so cool and then you can like switch into like these modes where you can like see things like heat it's i just don't know how to describe this game i just know it is badass it's super fun and Wow. I think for a Nintendo Switch exclusive, I really think there's a lot of people who may be out there or maybe on the fence about getting a Switch, or maybe they have a Switch and they're like, you know what, they're just rehashing Wii U games, you know, where is the exclusive content? This game following Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, yeah. and then some of the games we have coming down the pipeline, it's like, kind of maybe feels like the Switch is really getting some traction with its own exclusive titles. Yeah, Nintendo is like, okay, it's about time we take control, they're going to yeah. release all these amazing games, and then they're going to announce the Nintendo 64 mini and they're yeah. gonna take over the world yeah. again yeah fingers crossed yeah there you go <laughs> so anyway this game uh you are these two young protagonists it's a brother and sister they are twins their father is a well-established cop and they get given the powers maybe a little bit before they're ready to control this astral chain and this these legions and you get a pick whether you are the brother or the sister the one thing i found a little bit odd and i don't know if this happens if you pick the sister is we picked the brother and he has almost no dialogue. Yeah, he that doesn't. Point. So talk. the sister talks, but he doesn't. So I don't know, like, if you were to play as a sister, would it be reversed? Or I don't know. Uh, yeah. Maybe that's just who his character is. And one thing that I do want to say too is, I was like, okay, they're twins. That's a two-player game. We can we can play brother and sister. And it does say it's co-op, but it's a it's, unique kind of co-op. It's co technically co-op, but it's not co-op like you're thinking. It's very unique. So. You can't play as brother and sister, which nope. kind of sucks because, because that they're would both be on the screen. So yeah. why can't yeah, you? Yeah, why can't you? you? Know? And you would you each have your own legion. The only way to play co-op is one of you controls the person, and then the other person controls the legion. And you have to use the Joy-Con sideways, yep. which is so weird. So technically you can do it co-op, but it is so difficult. It's weird. Yeah, I think this game thrives in the single player yeah, realm. Definitely. We did it for a little bit, but uh, one thing we haven't talked about a ton are the different attacks you can do with that actual chain that separates you and your legion. You can create almost like a clothesline effect, and when the enemy charges you, it like gets caught on it, and launches you can them back. Them. You can 
circle around bad guys or baddies and tie them up and, and they can't get loose for a little bit to allow you some time to attack. So coordinating all this synergy when you're playing co-op is very, very oh, tough. so hard. Because the game yields itself to kind of more of a button mashing type play style because it's so quick. And if you're both doing that, it's not you're, you're probably not gonna be super successful. So it's a cool bolt-on, but going into this, we were kind of of the mind that this would be a traditional co-op game. And we yes. didn't do a ton of reading into like the previews and stuff. We just knew it looked cool. We wanted to try it out. So anyway, that's the would be the letdown piece of this from a co-op standpoint. And one thing I do wanna say about the co-op thing too is, the controls are a little bit different too. Like, yeah. so if you're playing single player and you're like, hey, let's play some co-op, you like kind of have to relearn the controls. Cause I'm, the fighting mechanic is weird, just any move. It's like the R2 button yeah. or Z, ZR, yeah. what, whatever it's called in Nintendo. RZ, RZ yeah, whatever. Yeah. So that's still the same fighting mechanic, but then like to switch your weapons and everything is way different and you yep. can't, you only have one joystick control your character, you can't control the camera. So it's really weird. It's cool. But I would definitely say play one player. That's yeah. the way to do it. Yep, and it would be, this game would have been kind of, you know, way above and beyond had it had full on co op. And that would have probably been, just from what I've seen with the few frame rate dips and things like that, probably been more than the Switch could handle. So there's probably uh, there's some probably reason. There's probably a reason for it. First impressions of this game are through the roof because more than anything else, it's gorgeous and I have never played anything like it. it I, I think it's a very awesome game in 2019 to get a game in your hands that like- uh, That just I've, blows your mind. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't played a game like this. I'm intrigued. Was I fully, fully on, you know, like, oh my God, best game I've ever played. This is game of the year. I don't think well, so. We just started it. And one thing I do want to say about that, we've only played like three and a half hours, four hours into it. The very beginning of the game is very story laden. Yeah. So you have to you watch all these scenes. You can skip them, but I feel like it's super important to yep. like realize the story. So that's one thing that if you're not a fan of like story based games, you don't have to sit through all that. Yeah. And that does take up a bunch of time, but that's how you learn the mechanics. And, it, and there is like a training area where you can like learn how to use your Legion and yeah. learn how to move and stuff. And, and one thing to piggyback on you talking about this, how the, the game's story laden. I don't know if you were picking up on this or not. I have a feeling now we're not super far into the game, but I feel like the story's going to get a bit redundant. You go back to the headquarters, you get your mission, you go out to the city, you accomplish said mission. If that continues to repeat itself, like it has thus far, yeah. it, it, you know, the game's still gonna be fun, but I think it might get a little redundant once you get to like hour six, seven, eight, and those type of things. But nonetheless, you know, for Nintendo to have a game that's way outside the box at this point when, you know, they, they tend to play it pretty safe with their IPs, yeah, I feel do. like. This offering from Nintendo and Platinum Games is definitely an outside the box approach. It is so awesome. I just want to keep playing it. One thing that I did read about this game is it takes about 12 to 18 hours to beat. So it's not too terribly long, but you know, if you want to beat it in one night, good luck. That's mm -hmm. going to take like two nights. Yeah. So anyways, we paired a beer that we were really excited about with a game that we were really excited about because we been waiting for this game for a long time we actually did a video of games we we're anticipating in 2019 and this was on that list we'll put a link to that up above if you care because some of those games haven't came out yet yeah. but anyways we've been sitting on this beer for a while we got this from our good dear friend bk when we uh, were with him at mo game con and uh, this is a brewery that he absolutely loves hop and frog brewery this is the taurus the tyrant what do you think? Holy hell. So it is a triple oatmeal Russian Imperial Stout. First off, that sounds just like yeah. a lot. And it is a very thick beer. It, it is. It, it's chewy. Very chewy. Yeah. It's kind of reminds me of motor oil. Just like, well, when you pour it, it like, it just plugs, plugs out of the bottle. Plug, yeah. plug, plug. But it, dude, it is so good. You can taste that oatmeal. There's like a, like a, like a charred, charred flavor like the yeah. aftertaste the, the finish is very charred I, I yeah i'm glad you picked up on that yeah it's really unique and then it, it's just like a thick mouth feel the aroma is incredible yeah this this is a fantastic beer so you do feel the burn a little bit on this one this is a 13 percenter um it is a barrel aged stout so there is a little bit of that alcohol burn however for that high of octane it is very blended in and very covered up by the taste of this beer the nose has a, a slight alcohol aroma but it's also a very sweet molasses and dark chocolate um, yeah. smell. I, I get a lot of dark chocolate and dried fruit notes, and then it finishes with a very charred. And I, charred maybe sounds like a negative connotation. It's a, 
it's a beautiful taste. Yes. It is a beautiful it's finish. It's just like they like lightly like put a torch under like something yeah. and you were just like, oh, this is art. Yeah, it is. It is really good. Actually, right before we started filming this episode, we both took a sip and it was the first time we've had it since we were down at Mo Game Con and we weren't really paying much attention. And uh, I, I said to Robert, you know, there, there are Imperial styles you can go to your grocery store and buy, and then there's the real deal. Yeah, this is a real Imperial and stout. I've had and a lot of Imperial stouts. Um, this has got to be in the top five for sure. Um, I can't recollect one from memory that I like better than this beer. Yeah. This is this is so good. It's a delicacy. Like, this is a beer that you drink over an hour sitting yeah, with someone. Yeah, it's a sipper. Yep. It's and a we, celebratory beer. We did let this uh, sit out for a little bit. We shot the intro and everything prior to drinking it um, to let it kind of get down closer to room temp. Um, that's a good thing to do with these type of stouts because it lets the uh, beer breathe and lets the flavors really yes. come through. So any stout fan probably knows you want to drink it, you know, um, not out of the fridge temp slightly above room temp and you're gonna really enjoy it and this beer if you see anything from hop and frog we haven't been led wrong yet by this brewery but this one in particular taurus the tyrant one of the best stouts yeah that it, i think we've ever had it's absolutely incredible and it pairs very well with this game i hate to say it but possibly beer of the year oh we're, we're a little ways out but it's coming yeah wow we we're, gotta start thinking about that yeah so yeah, anyways it's a good beer. uh back to the game first impressions should you run out and buy astral chain it is very hard for me to suggest to anyone to pay full price for a game nowadays with the way prices bottom out this game is very unique it's very engaging i have not played a game like it is it a day one purchase that depends on what you have in your Switch backlog and your other game backlog for that matter. If we didn't have the YouTube channel, I would be okay waiting for this game to drop down to 40 bucks. Yeah, I'm also as happy though that we have it. Absolutely. Like it's, if you want to fork over the money and get it, it's badass and you will lose yourself in this game. Yeah. But if you want to wait till it drops, because it probably will, that's yep. how games work, you're still going to enjoy it. And I don't think you're going to be like ruined if you wait a couple it's months. It's not a super time sensitive game. You know, it's not one of those online games that everybody's playing. You got to have it right now. Um, very good game. I do think it's uh, it was worthy of being on that list of yeah. anticipated games. It's definitely lived up to the expectations. Um, I don't sense that it's gonna be a game that's in the game of the year type discussion. So to put that in perspective, but it is one of the most unique, exclusive Switch titles that has been released to date. So anyways, anything else you wanna say about I just, it? I just can't get over like how visually and badass and unique it is. Like it's, I, it's My very, mind is still trying to wrap around how I've never seen anything like it. It's a very stimulating game for sure. I think it's a game that if you're a true gamer and you like hack and slash games, you like, there's a small little RPG element to it as well as far as leveling up and things like that. I think it's very unique. And if you like Japanese art and things like that, this game's got a great soundtrack for that. Oh, it does. And the art style is a very cell shaded teetering on anime art style, but I would say, quite. but not quite yeah, but all not the quite. way there. But anyways, if you're into that, I think you're going to find yourself right at home with Astral Chain. I think you're going to enjoy it. And uh, we're going to stop talking about it because we got to get back to playing this shit. So anyways, we always appreciate you tuning in, subscribing to the channel, keep gaming, keep drinking, and uh, go play some Astral Chain if you care to. We'll see you next time right here on Gaming Off The Grid. You ready? Yep. Hey guys, Gaming Off The Grid here. Are you ready? <laughs> no. No, I thought I was. We're drinking Taurus, the Tyrant by, topic, by Hopping Frog. It's by a toppling Goliath. <laughs> Is that what I was gonna I thought you were gonna pull There's that. a lot of teas. Okay. <clears throat> hey guys. <laughs> Doc Charcolate. Doc Charcolate. Hey guys, scheming off the grid here. It has arrived! Nope. <laughs> that was funny. Uh oh.